Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafty Peep here. Okay, another day of not having my computer because I do have it. But when I went to, um, let's see how this can go. When I went to go pick it up, um, brought it home and the internet isn't working. So I restarted it, talked to the computer guy. He said to turn it off, turn it back on still. So I said, I have seven minutes. Hi, Texas Lassie. Um, I have seven minutes to figure this out. So I just went and grabbed my husband's and thank goodness he plugged it in. So we will um, hopefully be on my computer with my new webcam. Um, hi, Sam. Are you asking how I am? I'm doing great. Um, oh, gosh. Anyway, we are going to start. Um, I had this for lunch. I went down to um, Walmart because I was running early in Walmart's just a few more miles down the road um, than my the computer guy. So, and my car was um, dusty and because it had rained just a little bit enough to then all the dust collected on it. So I went to wash my car and then I was one more mile um, from uh, Walmart. So I'm like, I'm just going to go in there and uh, see if they have any um, wax, Waverly wax, because my little bottle is getting so nasty. So sure enough, I went in there and did a little damage and update, news update. My husband is watching my channel. He just can't figure out how to type on here. He's golfing now, but the first two things he asked me today were, um, how much did that new webcam cost you? I said, I used a $15 uh, coupon and so it was like 30 something. And then what else did he ask the price on? Something I mentioned on here yesterday. I said, why don't you comment if you're watching? I, I haven't figured out how to do that. So anyway, um, but I picked up some of these little protein, protein snackers. Um, I forget about them because I do get groceries. Uh, I just picked up groceries last night from um, Walmart. But they're 190 calories, 11 grams of protein. So that means it's going to, it's a sufficient uh, lunch. It had the little bitty pretzels, um, some cheddar cheese, and about eight strips of um, apple. So it was enough to um, um, fill me up and um, keep me tied over for uh, dinner. So I wanted to tell you that it's a good grab to lunch. Because the last couple of days, I'm like, oh, my goodness, I forgot to eat um, lunch before I got on here. Hi, Lavender Flower. Hi, Karen Lynn. Hi, Potter. Thank you very much for the shout out again. Um, I'm very, very thankful to uh, Mommy Ramblings. But I'm uh, what did she say? When Scooter was teasing me about going live in a half hour, I said, no, Scooter. She goes, it's going to happen. Just deal with it or whatever. I'm like, okay, I think that's my hint to I'm going to grow my own channel. But I do appreciate everything she's done to um, get me started and support me. And meet all you all lovely little peeps. Okay. We are going to, oh, let me show you what I did yesterday. Or this is what I did over the weekend. Somebody wanted to see it. but um. Just that piece of um, wood that I got, I believe, from Family uh, Dollar. And um, the piece, I'm going to start doing them on this, see the difference in size. So they won't, it won't be such a big um, piece of wood. If you can find those at the Dollar Tree, they are so hard to find. So this one is at. A family dollar for a dollar and it, it'll hold a um, five by seven print. So I waverly, I waverly um, wax paint 
and then I came back where the picture was going to be and put a little um, Waverly ivory. And then I had you have um, Office Depot print off um, the picture mirrored image. So the image is going to like in the print. My son was over here. So you put um, it down on the um, wood. You modge podge it. You leave it overnight. And then the next morning you stick a, a wet rag on here. Not dripping wet rag, but wet. And I took you on a tour of the uh, retreat house that I was at. And then just slowly and surely um, come back with uh, wet on your index finger and just keep circling and circling until all that paper comes off. And then I, um, modge podged it. So, um, and then you can, with these, it's a better size to, uh, drill a hole and then, um, make them ornaments or little gifts. And then, I did that at the retreat center with the same thing, Waverly with um, antique, Waverly wax, then the Waverly ivory decoupaged a piece of 12 by 12 um, scrapbook paper in there. Let's sit overnight. And then I'm going to put that there just with those little glue dots. And so I can take it out and switch it out for Easter in this net. Thank you. Can you use regular Mod Podge to transfer the pick? That's all I used, um, lavender flower. I do have, uh, I think at Hobby Lobby, Lobby uh, about five years ago when I did this last, I used a special, it wasn't even called Mod Podge. It was a special art thing, but it was like $7 a bottle. Heather, hi there. I'm going to tell you in my most, what, loving and Christian way. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Sharky Blue. I have never seen you in here before. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Um, I showed you all the big um, bag that I got from Hobby Lobby yesterday. And I think I paid four to 50 and used a 40% off coupon. So I'm going to Mod Podge it, or Mod Podge it, uh, sand it down just a little bit. And I'm going to use this for my poster. But a lot of people were drilling holes in uh, Mod Podge and um, making very cute uh, farmhouse ornaments on those. Oh, let me show you. I went ahead and um, came back with that sand, sanding brush. And can you see? So it kind of, I, I took some down to the natural wood and on the corners. So I was very happy how that turned out. And we're going to do this first, then a second. And then if we have time, I'm going to come back and um, mod podge a little piece of um, wrapping paper in, in that little spot right there. I love um, getting napkins at Tuesday morning. If you have a Tuesday morning, each. Napkin has, uh, most of napkins have three ply. Hi, Joe. Yay. We are Mod Podging. If you're in oh, you have a hobby craft and so do Hobby Lobby. So you pull uh, that off, uh, the first layer, and you think, well, there's no other layer on here. But there is. I'm not going to, you just kind of, Keep going back and forth on a corner. Oh, okay, I thought I had it. But I already did it before you guys got here. And there was it was definitely three ply. So here's how thin the um, decoupage lip looks. And okay, hopefully the moderators will cross fertilization answer any questions you have on here. Our little, our, my little Texas Rambler, she had a doctor's appointment. So, and then tomorrow, my brother moved. Um, he was like four and a half hours away from me, him and his wife. And um, they moved 
about 29 minutes away from me in my sister's uh, neighborhood. And he likes a margarita. So they have tried out about um, eight places and he swears that this place that I've never thought very highly of <laughs> the best margarita. I'm like, okay, so we're going to do that tomorrow, but I will be, um, how much are those napkins? I think it said 269 and you get 20, 20 uh, paper. Oh, it says triple ply. So um, the napkin will, I don't know. Do y'all know if you um, have gotten them from, the dollar store or Dollar Tree, how much if it's a, a double or triple, but um, it's triple. So just know that you have two things to to pull back, even though you might not feel it on there. This glue you can use to decorate it. Yes, and there is napkin uh, decoupage. I don't know the difference. Carolyn probably does, but. It much posh does just fine. I will decoupage this and then I'll show you the finds that I got at Walmart. Okay, we're going to start off with a sanded piece of wood. And then I cut around the napkin so it's a little nest. And I'm going to, well, let me see. I'm not going to put Mod Podge down. You can. But uh, this is really thin, and so you have to be real careful because it rips. But you have a whole package to deal with if it does end up ripping on you. And we have saran wrap, and we'll show you what to do with that. That's after you get done mod podging onto your whatever surface you're going with. I already see a crease in there, and hopefully I'll show you, and then hopefully the saran wrap will take it out. But you have to remember to be very gentle with this because it will rip on you. It's a very thin piece of tissue paper. And you might see some bubbling um, bubbles up in some areas when you Mod Podge and hopefully the saran wrap. Okay, so there's some wrinkling over here that let's show you. Some people put their hands in a um, Ziploc bag too. And they nub it. What's Davida say? It cracks me up. Hi, Jan Rock. Hey, what did you think of diamond painting? Got to start tomorrow. I didn't see that you said you were going to um, veil it tomorrow, unveil it tomorrow. And then I had to run out to my computer and get the car wash. So I didn't see that. Did you see is it in black, maybe? Well, there's all that I have left. So let's see. Oh, Potter, uh, I don't get to see the comments until like 11:45 at night. Um sorry. Oh dang. I don't think I'm going to be able to saran wrap this. It is I can tell it's going to tear so I'm just going to go over it with a little bit more Mod Podge. Oh, so after I read the re uh, readings, I'm like, I'm going to have to start putting a notepad by my bed to do some follow-up. Um, Potter, yesterday I was talking about, um, when I was talking about my religion and whatever, I said, um, it reminded me of Columbine and one of your comments was like, what reminds you of Columbine? Cause I never circled back around. Um, okay. We're going to let that dry and then I'll unveil it tomorrow. But anyway, remember, um, I couldn't remember the girl, but I've read uh, either the mom or dad's book. And I think there's a Netflix 
well, there's definitely a Netflix documentary about um, Columbine, and then there's YouTube videos about Columbine, but that first um, girl, so, so sweet, was asked, um, I think she was having lunch outside, and she was asked, uh, do you believe in God? And she said, yes, I do, and they shot her. And so um, her parents were divorced, but they started going around to schools, and she was an artist and a journaler, I want to say. So Potter, you know, uh, well, C. Klebo, Sue Klebo was the mom of one of the shooters, but do some digging before while we're still on here and see who the, um, it's called, whatever her first name is, it's the um, project that they started and um, ministry. Oh, yes, looking her up. Potter's on it. Okay, got this uh, frame from the Dollar Tree. Oh, let me show you real quick on um, if you do if you have a cricket and you do uh, t-shirts um, Gildan is a very it washes up good yes uh, tissue wrap does really good um, you do have to be careful because it will um, I'm gonna put the brush in the water it will uh, tear on you so you have to be very careful as well and um, like that gift bag. Gift bags are very good because they're very forgiving. Hi, Ari. Hi, Kay Bay. That reminds me of Shay Shay. It just, Kay Bay. Yeah, Karen Lynn. Um, if you're on Slack with uh, Carolyn on her craft nights, oh gosh, for the last probably six months, she's been uh, decoupaging those little. Um, like paper boxes from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So anyway, that's my shirt. And um, I think I told you that, that when my my daughter came home and she's like, you need to just quit spending and, you know, this and that because you're going to run out of money before I have kids for your grandkids or whatever. I said, you're not the boss of me. And I told you, somebody was saying, Carolyn, doesn't your husband want you to go to bed? And she said, he's not the boss of me. So I'm putting, you're not the boss of me. So if you have a Walmart by you, they have, um, what do you use to apply sponges, paintbrushes? You can use uh, any of the above, Karen Lynn. And even those that you, uh, Brushes that you get at um, Dollar Tree works good. I love these because you don't find a round shape. You can find an oval at Dollar Tree. So picked up two of those for 95 cents, even cheaper. And these are, I believe the fat quarters are 95 cents because I'm going to do another, um, some more rag ribbons because I've only done that one. So I got these for Easter. I haven't been inside for so long. So um, next week, well, it might even be tomorrow. Who knows? But we are going to. Uh, hi, Sally Ann. No problem. You were working hard on all your Slack stuff. Rachel's Challenge is the organization. Uh, can you post what it does, Potter? Because I've totally forgotten, but um, I used to follow them. I'll follow them right when I get off of here. So these were, dang it, I don't know how much these were, but look at one, two, three, four, five. You get five, and I know it was probably a $1.97 if that, um, but we're going to be doing, you get a better one of those plastic butter dishes from Dollar Tree and two sets of the glass salt shakers and we'll vintage those up 
and you turn the um, butter dish cover to act as a vessel for three of the um, salt and pepper bottles that are going to be vintage, then we're going to, you can stick one of each or one of each of the baby's breath. I thought that was just too cute too. And I'm thinking that is probably a dollar. I have a bigger um, Pioneer Woman braided twist over here that used to have my Lazy Susan, but I moved my Lazy Susan over on my um, table. So you all don't have to see the mess, but I'm not done with this section over here. It'll look better when I do the vinyl, the blue vinyl, but too cute. Um, I've got some, when I used to have my craft room in the um, bedroom, I have the great big, I guess it's a laundry basket, but I have two of my uh, pillows in it. More Gorilla Glue, because all I have is a little, the little six left. Little red, um, I call it dingleberry, but or pom pom. Green for St. Patty's Day, and white, and they're under a dollar. I want to say bargain. Wait, wait, wait! Did she post? Okay, thank you. Yes, Karen. When you're feeling just, uh, did you? You said you started a project, right? This. Pull out all the hodgepodge stuff, and when you feel up to it, come on here when I'm on here and craft whatever. And then I should have a slack um, by the end of the week. Or, yeah, instead of going Zoom, I might go Microsoft Team. I'm not sure yet. Welcome, little peeps. <laughs> oh, you're, you are right. It is like, I don't even know how hot it is, but it is. Too hot for a January. So I got more Waverly Ivory. I got more Waverly Antique. So they, I mean, they have been out of this. So I grabbed just in case there's another lockdown. And got another bottle. So you don't have to see me plug in that one anymore. Actually, I got two bottles. So, I'll throw that other one away. Look at how cute that is. So, I'll probably be Mod Podge on that. And then, um, this was less than a dollar, I want to say, four by four. So, I love that size because then you can, you can even put it on a, um, you can hot glue it onto a five by seven or hot glue it in the middle of a um, canvas from the Dollar Tree. I love this. I have this scrapbooking paper, but this was 98 cents and it gives you that gold heart. So I'll be probably mod podge in that onto a um, Dollar Tree canvas like the eight by 10. And then you can give that to a friend that also does crafts. So I'll be giving that to my friend that's coordinated Last week, got another mason jar. Oh, I thought of three more words today when I was getting ready. Not that this is going to be an everyday thing. Um, that's okay. Crafty. Nonprofit run by OK to honor their daughter memory. Out for that reach and other programs of school and young people. OK, good deal. Thank you, Potter. Red buttons for Valentine's Day or Christmas. Then antique um, parchment. I was running out the other day when I used this to mix it with that blue. And then look, I have I didn't have that color to um, do that heart. So I'm going to do one in cameo pink and yellow flame. I'll try to work on those today. I got a pot. Um, Lisa D hates Mackenzie Child, but me and Davida love it. So um, when she, I don't know if you took the tour when she was in Tuesday morning, I took a screenshot for um, the Mackenzie Child 
because I'll either do the triangle or just the black and white stripes down on this. And then I have the big doll rod and then I need a, a trip to Dollar Tree to um, to do the ball. And I might have to. Uh, does anybody know if you can? OK, once you paint on a styrofoam ball, is it going to let you paint or do I need to put like paper mache over that styrofoam ball and let it dry and then I can uh, paint it whatever I want? What is that little cute turquoise shelf in the background? You can mail that to Michigan. This, this is what I made yesterday, Carolyn. Lynn. I got it at Goodwill when I was leaving the craft retreat for $1.99. And it's made in, handcrafted in Vermont. And it even tells you the wood person that made it. Louise Thompson, Manchester Wood. So I'm going to... If I have time, it's already 3.30, um, I'm going to put, let me see, if I we run out of time, then this will be a craft for tomorrow. But look at that cute little bicycle. And so it's the same colors. I want to say I got it at Dollar Tree. Yep, I did. So I'm going to do a piece back there and hang it in, in here. These were cute. I think they were 95 cents. So I got one. I got the words to spell out home. And you can put that on let me see, just a simple piece of wood like that. You can do home and on the home on the O. I think I have the greenery. So you can either not even worry about the O or and do the little uh, piece of wreath. So. We will be doing that at a later time. And I, man, I was there and taking out every single letter and they didn't have an R or an S. So I got T peep spelled out. So I'll be doing something for here with T peep. Oh, I've never seen the Waverly Ivory in this coat, this size before. So that's a perfect size to take um, to my next. Crafty Retreat, which is, um, we're going for the day, um, there's a quilt shop probably 15 minutes down the road, and she charges $50, no matter how many people you have, so um, if you get five, you, you can craft and have a, a huge table all day for 10 bucks, so we're doing that, and um, Yes, Karen, when you get uh, when you're able to get out, go by your um, thrift stores or um, where did I get that? Potter, where did I get that? Goodwill. <gasps> um, and look on all. I mean, you know, if you've been to a Goodwill, it is nasty in there, but just. Keeping your mind, you are going to wash your hands and you're going to lice all your stuff. So great deals to be had in there. I got these stickers. Um, I paid more than a dollar, but I like the shape of them. So I'm going to do the conversation hearts probably with those. All right. Is that it? One more. Oh, this is the vinyl I got at Dollar Tree and I have it. The uh, the length of my desk behind me. If I'm on Streamlabs, I can show you that. That's where all my paintbrushes and stuff are. Oh, you can kind of see it in the back right there. So I'm going to put that. I'm going to cover that whole great big black um, board to, to lighten it up back there. So they have gobs of, I got not two rolls of that, but I got a roll of, oh, the wood. Wow. Pay no attention. Pay no attention to the man behind the screen. Love this. Nine, no, 12 feet for maybe 350. Oh, 398. If my husband watches this later, it was only 398, but it's 12 feet. So you can't, you cannot beat that. Got two rolls of that. Okay. Yes, Potter. And this is great when you have like those wreaths up 
the wreaths up there that I got at um, the Target section for $3 a piece just to loop this and um, pin them into the wall or use a little nail into the wall. It looks really cute. That's a really good deal. Love all that stuff. Thanks, Jan Rocks. Hi, JC. All right. Let's get on to the second project here. I don't remember if I put the parchment, but um, I said a while back ago, if you see a little something that you like, but you don't know what to do with, get it and use it to brighten your area. Yes. Yes. My little hot mess express cup back there. So we'll we'll do the butter dish um maybe tomorrow and the mod podge of that or yeah the vinyl no I have to mod podge I was going to put that little blue check mod or vinyl back there but the bicycle I love the bicycle so. Okay, this was <clears throat> a little piece of fabric that I had um, Hobby Lobby cut. I love it. And like I said, <clears throat> you can have Hobby Lobby cut you a bunch of fabric and then use your 40% off before, what, the end of February is when they're taking the 40% coupon away from us. And so you, I got 40% uh, off of all, I must have got 20 um, things of material that day. So we're going to put this behind there. So we're just going to measure this. <clears throat> I just took the, you know, what goes on your picture. We're going to mod podge this onto this wood. And I also got a pair of new <coughs> Fiskars when I Fiskars when I started um, crafting in here. My old pair. I must have used them for something bad because they were not sharp. Oh, pot Potter, are you Potra? I saw Potra. I saw somebody ask you that, and then either I looked away when you responded, I didn't see it. But if you're Potra, I want to start calling you Potra. Lastly, hi there. Are you back from Houston? I miss you because I can't craft and look at the same time. I miss my little sidekick. Yes, I have been going around the house, Sam. Um, I showed you those two little, I'll show you more too. I'm just wanting to brighten up the area because all my accessories were uh, dark. And oh, look how that's looking. So cute. Uh, when you, when it dries, it's almost dry. I'll, you can do another thing a, of um, Mod Podge over it and I'll be able to use it as a uh, cup holder, and that's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, that turned out super cute. I'm driving. Hi, Avalon Apples. Avalon Apples. Is Avalon your last name and then Apples? I, ca I always want to know where people got their name from. They're cute. There are many interpretations, Crafty. All right. If if you wanted to be 
Patra, I wanted to start calling you Patra, but um, I'll call you Potter. Lavender flower. Ooh, Swan's Chicken, homestyle bake. Oh, I forgot to get a uh, roasted chicken. Um, but have you ever done Home Chef back probably a year and a half ago before hubby retired? Um, I want to say it's, well, they might have been doing it forever, but that's just when we started it. And we loved Home Chef, and then we did Hello Fresh, and then we did the Martha Stewart one. We tried like eight or nine, so many that I had to write them down because one time I messed up and we got two that week, so that was way too much. So now that he's retired and uh, sometimes he likes to cook, but then we go out almost every Friday with our group. Um I put it down to once a month and I have been forgetting to go online to pick the meals, but it has not been an issue for, uh, pro it's probably been a couple months since I've done that. So I thought, what am I going to eat for supper tonight? And I pull up and there's a box from home chef sitting on my front porch. So I didn't even open it yet to see what they gave us. But, um, a lot of times it's salmon, and that's good because um, we haven't been having a lot of salmon because I like to go in and pick it out. All right. That's what it's going to look like. I can't really see on there. I just ordered, uh, Sam, have you seen the um, Instapot? It looks like an Instapot, and then it has all the little cheat times on there for you to put, I guess, in your pantry. Um, I went on my Amazon to order, oh, do you all follow um, Turquoise? It's a crafting channel, Turquoise something. She's really good. And she has one of those keys that people put on the um, toothpaste um, tube. And she uses it on um, her E6000. How smart is that? So I got on Amazon to order that and saw that my, my we let our daughter, she has her own credit card on there, but she orders things through my prime. And um, she had ordered those little cheat sheets from the Instapot. So the keys are coming in and I think I get six of them. So I will be putting them on all of the, um, the um, toothpaste as well as my E6000. Because, you know, you can't have one jar uh, or one thing. Look. And that is from being unorganized in my earlier life last week and picking up more and more and more. So now that E6000, it, it, she said it gives, gives you the last drop. Okay. Take that out of the water and dry it off. <clears throat> Y'all see where I put my Mod Podge? There it is. And she, the, she, the turquoise um, lady, gets the little jars at, of Mod Podge. And I should have done that too before my scrap weekend. And she gets a jar, but I also have this Texas size jar. And she just keeps refilling the little jar because it's just easy. So, little tricks of the trade. Okay, you're going to, this is whatever that cheap wood's called. So, you can water it down or put a pretty good size amount of Mod Podge on it. Okay. And place your fabric down. Okay. 
Richard. Like that. And then um, I love getting magnets from the uh, over at Hobby Lobby where the cards and some Christian stuff is. So it says my worries are few because my blessings are many. So we're going to hot glue that right there in the middle. And this has a little deepness to it, so it should work out just fine. But if it doesn't, oopsie. Right there. All right, that's going in the guest room. Let me see. Let me move it over just a little bit. It might not have been all the way centered. And that's with the glue gun. I think you have 45 seconds. So, yep, that's it. I didn't put a top thing on there. It's it's just not really necessary. So, all right. Let me see how I'm doing on time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go on to putting the bicycle paper in the back of here. But parchment paper, I didn't use parchment paper. I, I use a lot of craft paper, but um, parchment paper in a roll will do better for you if you do a lot of painting so you don't have your um, project stick to your craft paper. Yeah, Karen. I uh, Karen Lynn. I don't know if you were watching. Probably my second day. I was on. I did those um, little pot hold pot holders um, and turned them into door knockers. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Yesterday, see right up in here. I got those little white locker um, plastic bins from um, the Dollar Tree, and they're hard to find the white ones. So I found four of them, put all my fabric, can you see me? Okay, put all my fabric in this one, my um, candles in this, and then all the springtime um, that I'm gonna be turning into door knockers, and then all my little window boxes, uh, frames that have a pretty deep window in them that I'm gonna be making a little, Scene in, not making a scene like throwing a fit at grocery store, making a scene like putting little Spanish moss in a, I haven't painted this little guy yet. I got him from, I think, what, 50, 59 cents um, at Goodwill the other day. So, and I might, well, who knows what I'm going to do with this little piece, but I'm going to put it up somewhere, but. Uh, I might change it out for season as well. Okay, I think the best guesstimate we're going to have for this is I'm going to turn it over. And we have a whole roll to work with, so I'm not going to be too upset if I don't get it to cut right on the first one. And Dollar Tree um, gift wrap is very thin. I mean, what do you want for a dollar? But it does do really good with uh, decoupaging.
foot, but we grew up with that, those little bikes. What do you call those seats? Potter will know. Vintage Raggedy Ann stationery at Goodwill a while ago. <gasps> what do you suggest? I think you punch it too. Those little, uh, you can just start off doing a piece of wood or um, you can get a frame with a little bit of, um, oh, that wasn't very thick, um, a little window box effect. So you can do the uh, Raggedy Ann and then you could come back and paint the frame red or black or uh, polka dots for Raggedy Ann and then hot glue a bow on the side of the frame and put it in your guest room or your kid's room. That is cute. Okay. There. Hi, Shay Shay. Yes. Hobby Lobby in the 40% off coupons in February. So get in there and use your coupons. I'm just going to stick this in here and crease it on the sides. Then I know where to um, cut it. The same for the bottom. See how it kind of gives you the crease? Right. It's not perfect, but the crafting isn't perfect. Where do I keep putting my lunch punch? No, oh, there it is. See, if I had my van over here, Leslie, you would have known right where I put it. Oh, Raggedy and Apron, Lavender Flower. That sounds so cute. I am taught Turquoise is the name of the channel. Um, yes, Potter. Do you follow her? It's gorgeous. There's all aqua behind her and polka dots. It's gorgeous. Just going to mod podge the back of it. I got corrected this weekend because uh, we had this discussion in Karen's group. I say mod podge and it's mod podge. One of the crafters I had just met corrected me. I'm like, okay. All right. And a lot of times with uh, gift wrap, it's forgiving that you can uh, lift it up and replace it to, uh, you know, lay it down a different way. It's not laying down right for you. Like that just happened. Still not happy with how it's laying down. Whoa. All right. I'm going to trim a little off. Using my scissors just to get a hold of it. Just needs the teeniest bit cut off. I've played with it so much, I'll think I'll put a little bit more Mod Podge down.
If you have Dollar Trees uh, around you, go collect the fairies. I've never had a fairy garden, but I started collecting it. And um, I guess several people on Carolyn's channel. So you might have a craft night just that we're making our little fairy garden villages. All right, way better. And I think I will much pause over that. And then Take your saran wrap, but I don't see where that little piece of mine went. And I knew I needed it when I was in Walmart, but I forgot to pick some up. So I'm just going to use a little plastic part of this bag. And this is to get creases and um, bubbles out. I have creases, but I don't care. It's cute anyway. And if you're not happy, you can always come back and do a whole new strip. And some people said you can get a little, just a little, um, needle and push it in that um, bubble and it'll come off. Look how cute. Cute. I don't think I'm going to put it up there. I think I'm just going to leave it down here. All right. Yay, we got a few more minutes. So I'll start on the yellow um, conversation heart. Let me briefly show the viewers again how to do the pot holder door hangers, please. Yes. And I think Sassy Darcy, there is a, one of my videos on it. Let me get some polyfill. That polyfill that my friend. It's really my sister's friend. They went to get their master's degree, and she's a, a principal in a couple towns over. Um, she got me a 10-pound box of, uh, I haven't emailed her or texted her since my retreat, but she brought it over during the weekend, so I didn't ask her why in the heck did she buy a 10-pound box of it. I don't know what craft she did or whatever, but yeah. I just ordered A5 size washable pencil alphabet numbers. Oh, very good. I need to start classifying Tammy's lives. Why? So you're, why Potter? Did I miss something? Oh, bloop. I meant Georgia O'Keeffe letter. Oh, wait, I thought Sam, Sam lived in South Carolina and you lived in New, uh, oh, I get confused on my mods. Somebody lives in South Carolina, somebody lives in New Mexico. Oh, okay. I got this at the dollar family, uh, DG, Dollar General, the yellow store. So you just clip that little hanger off. And you make it just a little, let's see, let me use my littler scissors. Right here on the back, right where you took that off, you're gonna snip it. And just cut probably an inch. 
and there's going to be filler in there. You just get your finger under that filler. And so you have two ply, but it, doesn't, it feels like my finger. Okay, there we go. You can feel when your finger gets through that barrier. And however big you make the hole, you are going to have to hot glue it or stitch it if you're a sewer or a quilter, I guess. So I just try to make that hole as little as possible and start with uh, polyfill and my tip to that was don't buy polyfill don't buy polyfill like I did um, from Walmart um, that bag is probably 357 or something in a true value pillow at Dollar General where you're going to go to get those anyway are two dollars and they will um, do as much as the bag for 357 so save a dollar for more crafting supplies you're just going to keep pushing it into the corners thank you KV. Oh, my sister's calling. She said when she flew, she's the international flight attendant. She flew to um, Peru last Friday, and the hotel, because of the ickies, had the hotel lobby doors chain lock, chained at night, padlocked at night. She's like, this is very, what if we ha ha all have to get out because of a fire or something? So. She's supposed to go there, not this Friday, um, but I guess two Fridays from now. And it's a very, like it's a, you know, airlines put, put them up, the pilots and the flight attendants up in very nice hotels. It was a embassy suites or something. Like, Lord. My computer guy that works out at... Um, an oil refinery says they do one day on one day off and like Leslie says oh COVID knows just what day that nobody's around not to give anybody anything but he said you can talk to a uh, co-worker by their cubicle um, you know you wear a mask to the bathroom and stuff but if it's longer than 15 minutes then you have to write up a report and file a something so COVID knows that you've been talking for 16 minutes and not 15. It's cray cray. When my husband went to the hospital yesterday, I said, find out how you can get on the list. He was a practicing physician for 45, 49 years up in that area. And he's going to be turning 77 next week. So I want him to get it. My parents have both got the first one. They go in a couple weeks for the second one. I've been offered it for my physician just because I have some, um, I have chronic lymphedema and that um, fights off your infections and stuff. So I don't have anything to fight off. Isn't that cute? So you just stuff it until you feel it, until you feel it. Um, and then you're going to hot glue or do a little quick stitch right over that open area. And you can get these from Dollar Tree. That'll hold, hold it in place while you're hot gluing so you don't burn your fingers. I found these. Um, I had lost. I only have one left. But uh, you can put those on the seam too while it's drying. Okay. I'm glad you asked me to do this because I need to do all of those over there. 
are going to be gifts and stuff for Easter. Don't worry, it's not going to look perfect. Doesn't need to. You're going to come back and be um, hot glue and ribbon on the back here where this has been open and sealed. Hi, Alicia. Oh, I'm so glad you're on here. I've so been missing you. Have you been feeling okay? You are just a breath of fresh air. Okay, so looks like that. And let's see. I told you all how I made these just a little candle um, top that I would have normally thrown away a doll rod, one of those larger doll rods that you can get at um, Dollar Tree and put your ribbon on there. And Hobby Lobby, don't ever pay full price for the ribbon. They have cute, cute ribbon, but it's 50%, what, every two weeks? So. So you're going to go right back over that area in the back and hot glue, hot glue it. Whoa. I just do the cause, I call it cause, you know, that little loop. Put it right down on the first ribbon. I also have a pair of dollar guarding gloves that I, you can just pinch where you've just hot glued. And, you know, I've told you I like using um, Gorilla Glue because of the strands. Well, this uh, over the weekend, I had those little ones in. So I might have misspoke. It has as much stringy strings as the other, but it, it is heavy duty. So I do like it for that regard. Okay. So you could leave it just like that. But I like to cover up right where the um, where you cut that off. So let's use one of my new white buttons that I got today at Walmart. And of course, right over there by the material, Hobby Lobby has these, but never pay full prices either because they have them every, what, Two or three weeks, 50% off too. So. so, yes, it's my husband's birthday, and then my sister, older sister's uh, birthday. She's a year older than me. Um, 
on the 28th and then my husband's on the 30th. It's our um, granddaughter's, she's my step-granddaughter, uh, 10th birthday today up in Kansas City. And she's just, oh, she's so adorable. Personality plus. Come back and because it has those holes, so the uh, dollar or the uh, blue might poke through some of those holes. So you can come back and clean it up a little bit. But there you go. And I sold these uh, extra ones for um, you sell them for five dollars, and you've got uh, with a ribbon or whatever, not even two dollars in it. But it makes such a cute gift. Everybody loves them. All right. Yay, only six minutes over. Thank you, Sam. Oh, my gosh. I bet your twins are so cute. Yay, Alicia. Good to hear that 2021 is being a good year, good beginning. Oh, um, I See, I, I thought of, I started telling you something and then I got off on something. So, Maj, you got to, well, I'm not staring at the screen. So, um, you got to bring me back around. Um, but today when I was um, getting my makeup on, I thought of three words that start with uh, J. Journey, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Oh, joy. Yesterday was renew, refresh, and rejoice. And today is journey, Jesus, and joy. So let's leave you with that. And um, thank you so much for coming here. A few of you need to hit the um, like on the way out, but thank you for liking. Please share this with everyone because the sooner I get to a thousand subscribers, the um, sooner I can get to uh, use my cell phone because they don't let you use your cell phone until you've uh, used or got a thousand subscribers. Um, but I could, I can go through Streamlabs, but then it would show me as having um, two live streams going at the same time, kind of thing. So I had fun with y'all today. Have a rest of a very blessed day and tell your family and friends you love them because you don't know. Send up a, a prayer for um, 12 Angels. She is going through uh, that long, long procedure um, today and she'll need us in the days to come. And if you are comfortable contacting Amy's Justice League um, through Slack on Carolyn's page, please do that. All right. Thanks, peeps. I love you all. And let's get crafty tomorrow. We will be working on um, those the butter dish with the, the salt and pepper shakers. That's one of the things that we're going to do. And if I'm a little bit more talkative tomorrow, <laughs> a little bit more talkative, it's because I'm going to probably have a little margarita with my brother and... Um, his wife at lunch tomorrow, but I will be here at three, three with tea. Thanks guys. Thanks moderators. Bye.